So I'm just going to go ahead and set expectations for this episode. Nothing crazy is going to happen. You know, after recording three and a half hours worth for yesterday's episode in fighting and killing Aaron, which I'm super excited about and I'm way more energetic about it than I was, well, when it happened. Just because, you know, after three and a half hours, if... If you finally kill a boss, you're just like, oh, thank God I can go to bed. <laughs> and anybody who's ever raided or done anything like that, maybe, you know, in Destiny or World of Warcraft, they they know. They know they get it. It's the same kind of thing. So what is our goal today? Our goal is to go into the underground and get us some new ore because that's what spawned when we killed uh, Yaron. We have an option to go do the old Duke. We haven't done the new Acid Rain, but then after that, we have uh, Exomex and Supreme Calamitous. Um, both of these are kind of like, well, Supreme Calamitous is technically the, the final uh, fight, but, you know, we could also go try Exomex and see what we get out of that. We have a lot of options. We also have to get good with this cool new weapon because, oh my goodness, is it insane. <laughs> There's so much to love about this weapon but it could be loved more let's reforge it <laughs> um not really sure what i want to go with here we're gonna have to farm money today it's gonna be it's gonna be one of those where we're really just you know, sharp's not bad where we're really just trying ooh 15 percent stealth strike damage that's really good we're not mighty ooh uh lethal uh Flawless? I'll take flawless. <laughs> we'll take a flawless final done. Yeah, anyways, we're going to have to go find some money because uh, I need to buy some items. I need to make some items. And I'm going to need, what was it, like 40 platinum? Let's go look at the rogue, uh, what she's got. We're going to shop. Uh, yeah, 40. We need 40 platinum <laughs> to buy that. So. I'm just gonna go use my new weapon to kill a bunch of Plantera, I suppose. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I, I, I quite like it. Um, I actually just got two platinum back from doing the refund because I spent a bunch on the reforge there. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. I, like I said, it's gonna be more of a let's let's just go have fun episode as opposed to a let's push our face against a boss for three and a half hours episode i'm kind of I, I need a i need a bit of a break and i have been actually playing quite a bit of terraria lately because the vote so far has been going uh very one way <laughs> for the next series that we're doing the next modded series that we're doing and what i mean by that is uh if you look at what it looks like people want it it, it well it just honestly kind of looks like Thorium is going to be the choice. I mean, I don't th I don't think it's most people's actual like If they knew what every mod entailed what they would actually choose I think what they would actually choose is split mod or maybe something else um, Because those mods are so incredible, but uh, what I should say is that the success of the Terraria series on the channel uh, tells me that it's not really which one I'm going to do and the other ones get excluded. It's just which one I'm going to do first. <laughs> There's a bunch of other things that I could also do mod wise that uh, people have suggested and I and I agree with them. I think that we could potentially do some really cool stuff with it. Um, but at the moment, I think my top ones that I want to do, well, Starlight River is my top one that I want to do, but we, we're not, they just have the demo available. They don't have the full thing. Um, Split is probably my next biggest one just because of how cool and unique and, um, well, honestly, uh, insane that it is that they've done with it. Oh man, that weapon is really good, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, they've done, they've done a lot with that, uh, that mod. And I think if I showed people that, they'd be like, ah, I see. This is super duper cool. But it's it's going to take time for, for people to get to that point. I'm, I'm not going to... Oh, wow, I thought the boss was going to be way closer than he was. Um, I'm not going to convince people to play a, a mod that they've never heard of. Or maybe they have heard of it, but maybe they've never actually played it. I'm not going to convince anybody to do that if they've... You know, if they don't have an inkling of what it is. I'm rambling on, but my point is... I, I do want to do Split. I do want to do Thorium. In fact, Thorium was my original one that I wanted to do um, with or right after Calamity. 
um, with my original mage series. So, you know, it's good to go do Thorium and get that out of the way. I'm really curious what class you guys are gonna vote for. But I would say keep an eye out on the channel, uh, on the channel member area, the, the uh, community area. Probably over the next day, uh, just keep an eye out on it because I may end up putting, I may just be like, all right, the vote is so one-sided for Thorium, which kind of looks like it is, that I'm just gonna be like, all right, which which class do I play? I just put the class vote up already, even though we're still, you know, a handful of episodes away from being done with, um, being done with this. I've, I've decided to just like not even bother with the, the charge on this because the normal attack for farming this does so much extra damage. So it's just like, uh, let's just do that. And then he dies. Or then I can summon another one. Can I summon like more than one? Oh no. Yeah, th that actually brings me to the, oh, what was it called? The Fargo Soul Mod, I believe is what it is. Very difficult, kind of like what we've been dealing with, with uh, Yaron. Like if, if you're really into that kind of difficulty spike, then that's the mod for you. Um, I didn't put it on the list because I don't know if I want to go through that pain, but maybe I do. Yeah, I, th I think <clears throat> after clearing Thorium and, and a bunch of other ones, and maybe we'll be ready enough for that kind of thing. <laughs> maybe we'll be relatively good enough. Um, but that mod has an ability to just summon like a bunch of the same boss over and over, um, where you can summon like 50 wall of flesh all at the same time and just kill them all at the same time because they know that you you're going to be farming these bosses so much because you need specific items and whatnot from them so uh oh and you need the money as well so i think it's funny that they do that <laughs> but it's it's an option i i, I kind of want to see it in more in more mods to be honest because it would make like this part of farming in calamity way easier i go ahead and Sell all these tubes. Gonna get us probably a couple plat. Um, I have 30, I think. Yeah, I have 30 treasure packs. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Actually, it goes it goes really quick with this weapon. I really do like this uh this final dawn. Love it. Uh, I'm just gonna sell everything. So let's get through this process. I feel like I'm preparing for the clicker class mod. So much clicking. Oh, we finally okay, we're good. <laughs> Final count is 83 platinum. Oh, and wait, not, not final count. I got another temple key. Does, do they actually sell for anything? Let's find out. No, no, oh, okay. So 83 platinum, that's pretty good. I only need half of that for uh, um, the dragon scales. Ooh, it's cloaked. That's actually a good start for, for that. I don't know if I'm gonna like it more than the venerated locket. So so this, using a rogue weapon, summons a copy as a projectile that falls from the sky, stealth strikes cause a circular fan, and there'd be alone, blah, blah, blah. 10% increased rogue damage. This is 10% max run speed and acceleration, which I already like more than the damage. Stealth strikes create infernos on death. Now, this is what interests me here because um, our stealth strike, Oh, it's like that. Oh, that's really cool. Can it can it summon more than one? No, it, and it has a mild cooldown to it. I wonder if it works for the charge. We're gonna test this out <clears throat> because if I can use the charge and hit a no, interesting. Oh no, it does. Oh my goodness, we're gonna use that. That's so good. <laughs> May as well just go kill more Plantera, right? Uh, what do we need to do? We need to go underground. I haven't even done that yet. We need to go find Auric Ore, I think is what it was called. I don't remember. I just was so out of it last night, <laughs> but I'm glad to, uh, no, that's not it. I'm glad to be done with that. I'll tell you what. I, I hope it kind of stands out compared to all this other ore, otherwise I'm never going to see it. I should probably turn this off so I can actually see either side. Where? What are we looking for here? Is this it? No, I don't think that's it. Where's my, where is my pickaxe? I don't need to summon no plantar. Okay. Is this it? Mithril. Nope. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. That's uh, the plant stuff. <clears throat> I don't see no auric ore. I, I assume it's going to like really jump out at me. You kidding me? I can't. <laughs> what? Ugh, crap. What? What pickaxe do I need to use in order to pickaxe this? 
I, I, I honestly have no idea. All right, let's let's go here. Let's go filter tools. Um, what's this? Tectonic truncator. One hundred ninety percent. No, ours is two hundred twenty-five. Um, uh, to pick pick X. No, oh Genesis two hundred twenty-five. No, that it can do. No, <laughs> this is 225. I, oh my goodness. Where am I going to find the correct pickaxe? A blossom pickaxe. What the heck is a blossom? Okay, here we go. We're going to blossom pickaxe. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, there you go. I just need Uli Bloom Ore, which I believe I got a bunch. And, ooh, wow, how do you spell this? stupid? Uh, what? Oh, that's because I'm on tools. There we go. What? Ah, fine. I gotta go get this stupid ore. Okay. Ah, got a hundred. That's that's not bad. I think that'll be enough to make what we need. Deposit. Um. Then we go to U E L. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And it was some pickaxe. It was a bloom. No, that was not it. I've already forgotten the name of it, um, but I'm pretty sure I'll find it in here if I go pick. Uh, there we go. Blossom. A blossom, bloom, it's the same thing. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Let's put this in here. Okay, so now we could do the, the auric. Auric? Auric? Or? How's it pronounced? Can I just say, if, if there's any... If there's any uh, uh, of the Calamity artists watching... It's possible. Yeah, I, I don't know if they actually watch Terraria playthroughs of their own mod. I, I, who knows? You know, I my feedback is, my feedback is, this ore, the auric ore, looks kind of underwhelming. You know, I was expecting, I don't know, like something more with like an electric aura around it. Like, you, you know, you see how, like, these have, like, these shine thing. Like, maybe some kind of electric thing going on with it. Because it just, based on what the the sets look like, you would expect it to kind of be something resembling that a bit. But it just kind of looks like, uh, I don't know, like bread? <laughs> just, is that right? Am I crazy? Does it look like bread to anybody else? Maybe bre maybe bread's not the right word. Let's, let's see if we can find some more in. Oh, hey, we found another underground uh, mushroom biome. Uh, yeah, let's let's look at it in the, the lit area rather than against this. It kind of, well, no, it kind of looks like hay. There we go. It looks like hay. It just doesn't look right. It needs to be, I don't know, a bit spicier. It looks like it doesn't belong to the set in which it makes. <laughs> so I that's that's my feedback on it. It's, it's weird. It's a weird set of feedback, but... It is what it is. It just doesn't doesn't look right. It doesn't look epic enough to be the last ore that you're farming, right? I think that's a better way to put it. All right, let's let's head back and see if this is enough. I have 221. Um, but, but, but I need to remember that this is gonna like take all of the stuff that I just got, and I can't buy any more. Um, auric ore. So we so bars. So for for one of these, I get five bars. Actually, that's not bad. But 60, 60 ore. Are you kidding me? What? what? That's a bit much. Come on. Come on. It's the end. It's the end. Not only does the ore not look cool enough. I mean, the bars look awesome. Oh, I can't see them. So I have my inventory. The bars look awesome, but the ore doesn't. And then you require, you require 60 per bar or per five bars. I guess it, I, okay, let's, let's quick, quick YouTuber mass here. Quick YouTuber mass. Let's think about that for a second. So actually make sure I'm on the right layer. Yeah, that's about right. Um, you've got, you know, a t let's say a typical iron bar requires five. I don't think it's five. That might be, that might be a, a lot more than it actually is. Let's say it requires five or per bar. Then if you were going to make five bars, that'd be 25 or. So 60 seems a bit steep, especially for I'm at the end. I don't want to go back down, but uh, devil's advocate, a little, little, 
designer advocate over here. <laughs> what do I want to call it? I don't know. The the thing with the, the concept behind it seems solid. Where you're getting ready for the end of the mod. You, you've got not a lot left, right? So it kind of makes sense. I could see the reasoning being like, all right, now you need to go farm this stuff out. You need to go get this because it's it's rare um, and it's epic. This is the end of the mod. And if you're really enjoying the mod at this point, I could see how you wouldn't want it to like, you're like, oh man, we're close to the end. It's, it's kind of like, um, I don't know. It's like, it's like playing a Bioware game, especially for the first time. Like when you're like, oh, oh, what's this chest? Let's go, let's go find out what this is. Hey, you. <laughs> it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Onyx excavator key. Summons a drill to drill through the world so you can destroy all the neat world generation. With complete disregard for all the creatures and inhabitants or that inhabit this lands, I'm sure EPA and uh, PETA would like to have a world with you afterwards. The power of destruction scales with the highest powered pickaxe in your inventory. Equipable. Oh, the mount. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. First off. <laughs> That's fun. That's just fun. All right, here we go. You know what? I can dig it. <laughs> get, the, get the joke. I get it. I can dig, dig it because I'm the underminer. <laughs> That's what it makes me think of, is the underminer. If you don't know what that is, man, you're probably too young. Um, because that's like, that's a, even a Pixar movie. Come on, you're like, you like, you should be able to, to, to get that. I'm just gonna do, do this. This is really cool. You know what? You know what? <laughs> I take it back. All right, so what I was gonna say is that you don't want it to end if you're playing like a... a uh, I don't know, if you're playing Mass Effect for the first time and you get to the end of Mass Effect 2 and you're like, you know that the end is coming and you're like, ah, I don't, I don't want it to end because I'm having so much fun. Or you're playing Dragon Age Inquisition, same thing. You're like, ah, I don't, I know the end is right here. I know this is the end of the game. It's told me as much. It's like, hey, this is the end dummy. So make sure you get everything done that you want to get done. You get to a point in those games where you're like, I don't, I don't want it to end. I don't know if I do. I think I'm having a lot of fun and I just kind of want to keep this going. Can I not teleport? Let me teleport. Um, and I totally get that. And maybe that's the point here that they're trying to. Why is it not quick doing this thing? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I, I honestly don't. What do we got? Let's get rid of this and the blocks. Oh, that's because that's hallowed ore. Ah, I see. Let's pop off over here. Get the rest of this. And I mean, we're at what? 355. That should be more than enough, right? <laughs> Famous last words. So I see I see their design intent behind it. I just don't know if I like it. If I'm like, well, I, I actually kind of don't want to dig anymore at this point in the game. I'm at the end. Give me something more epic to do, like going and building the, the computer up, which is definitely a thing we still need to do. All right, so work, work bars. How many of these do we actually need for the full set? Let's find that out. So hat is 12 plus uh, 12. So we got 24 plus 18. All right, that's not bad. I mean, we're, let's go ahead and I, oh, before I make, am I gonna need this for other stuff? Shadow spec bar. Raiden's Forge, Orc, Exoprism, Ashes of Annihilation. I have no idea what that's for. Is there a rogue weapon? There's a summon weapon. Midnight Sun Beacon. That sounds so freaking cool. <laughs> I wanted to play summoner. Why did you guys fail me? Actually, I did kind of want to play rogue. Uh, we got melee, melee, ranged, ranged. I don't... Oh, right. The Celestial Tracers. Um... Okay, so I actually have a list of stuff that I need to make. Let's start with the auric stuff. Auric. What am I missing? Uh, oh right, I need to put I need to put all my armor in there. Let's get let's get all that done. Boom, boom, boom. Let's also put our tracers in there. Oh yeah, we look funny. I forgot <laughs> I forgot the way. It, it's not not great, is it? Auric. 
I can make the helm. Why can't I make the other pieces? Wait, why can't I make the other pieces? Chess. Oh, I'm missing a frost barrier. And a silva armor. I didn't make the silva armor? Uh, silva leggings. Silva armor. Lead core. No. Okay. Where, where does this come from? Uh, it drops from... Oh, them. Okay. I see. Here, we're... <laughs> Dang it. God Slayer. Let's, let's get this back out. Let's just put this on. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to go get the core, and I think I'm going to have to get it from doing the event off over in the acid rain. But, oh, and crap, I can't fly. Ah, crap. Ah, ah garbage. All right. <laughs> we'll, uh, hold on. <laughs> okay, celestial tracers made. Bam, done. All right, so now we, ooh, those look cool, don't they? Oh, yeah, now we're a super fly boy. I can fly all the way up to the top. That's actually quite impressive. Okay, now we're going to go do the acid rain event. Ah, I got old dupe just randomly summoned on me. I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> I I didn't know that he spawned after the event. I just was not prepared. All right, here we go. That's fine. I feel like this, this weapon feels a bit like cheating a little bit. Because we just got to keep doing this, <laughs> apparently. And we will win. Because the, the charge... I don't know if I've said this already. It gives you iframes. So we can just like straight up not worry about getting hit and just charge everything. And apparently there's a pretty good reason why this is considered one of the better rogue weapons for the end game, or if not the best rogue weapon. I mean, it's called the final dawn. You would expect anything called the final something is the final something. <laughs> I guess I'm killing the old Duke. <laughs> I was not prepared for this. I don't even, do I have my buffs? I do, I do have my buffs on. I just gotta hit him like one more time. Come here, dookie boy. Hey, get over here. Did that do it? I think I did it, yep, he's dead. <laughs> I don't, I don't even think I got what I needed. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go do this the fun way, where we come over here. We go to ceaseless void, or ceaseless hunger potion. We're just gonna pop one of these. Oh, it was all like a lot of stuff that I missed. Right. Okay. Uh, goodness. What what was that that I needed? I needed a lead core, which dropped from irradiated slime or gamma gamma slimes. I don't think I did that. Oh goodness! Look at all these items. Oh, here comes even more. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh, it's all over the ground. All right. Let's see what we got out of the bag. Uh, we got. Uh, oh, it's <coughs> so that. Oh, I guess it is. Hard mutated truffle. Summons a small old duke to fight for you when below 50% life. It moves much faster. Okay, that sounds kind of fun. Especially if you're running like a, a summon build. Uh, black cat's bow and ears. I guess I gotta keep that. Oh, black cat's dress. Okay, that's all that stuff. <clears throat> and we got a ranged weapon. Well, uh, we did get the lead core. <laughs> which was the whole purpose of doing that. Now, now we can make the silva armor. Silva, which allows us to make... What am I missing? <laughs> I got that. I got that. I got that. I don't I don't have feathers. I need feathers. I, f I feel like <laughs> We're so close. Can I buy the feathers? No, we're gonna ha actually have to either go kill the boss Which is not a bad idea or just buy the, the bag uh, 10 tier 5. How many tier 6 do I have? I've got 22. I could buy another dragon one. I think what I do is I just go kill the boss and get the stuff. So I'm gonna go do that. Oh my goodness, I just like shaved off a quarter of its health in a single attack. <laughs> that was fun. Let's just keep doing that. Can I, can I just use this weapon forever? <laughs> I really hope I get to use this weapon on Supreme Calamitous, because if I could just cheese it in a way and dodge the majority of the projectiles in that fight with this, it's going to be 
Well, it's going to be really fun. All right, let's go back out. Um, we're just going to drop all this stuff in. Now we can make the silver armor. <laughs> all this to make a new thing of armor. Well, okay, so Auric. What am I missing for the chest now? I'm missing the God Slayer. And I'm missing the Frost Barrier. What am I... Why is that one different? They're both the same, but one requires the God Slayer chest piece. And one requires the silver. Oh, I could have just... Oh, my goodness. I didn't realize. I bet that was a big face palm from you guys. All right, let's go get the... Oh, who sells it? I don't remember the NPC that sells this stuff now. It's got to be the one here, right? Do, do, do. Shop movement? That's uh, under combat, isn't it? Shop combat. <sighs> no, but how do you make these things? Is the frozen turtle shell. No, okay. <sighs> I don't remember that, how to make this thing. Fr uh, the shield, right? No, it's not a shield. Shell? No, it's not a shell. Frost. Nope. <laughs> uh, Auric. Let's go here. How do we get the frost barrier? Ice clasper. Really? It comes from an ice clasper. Okay, let's try this again. Auric Tesla armor. Bam. Now we could take our... Um, we could take this armor and we could drop this armor off. Because I believe I got everything else. I, I went and picked up the flying carpet from the vendor. Um, let's see here. Do, do, do. Auric. Okay, helmet. Bam. Done. And uh, we need bars. Um, oh, that's because I'm on equipment. Uh, let's flip off of that. Auric, Auric bars. What am I missing? Are you kidding? I'm still missing ore. <laughs> I just, uh, I, uh, <laughs> uh, why? <laughs> I need just slightly more bars. I thought I was going to have enough, but apparently not. Try this again. I did that with no armor. <laughs> okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's just get rid of all of this garbage. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Then we come back into here and we go R or Rick or or Rick bars. Then we make our pants. <laughs> Man, that took a while. All right, let's see how cool we look. Ooh, baby, do we look cool. I like that a lot. Okay, so our defense is 168 now, which is really good. 20% increase of rogue damage, crit chance, and movement speed. Not moving boosts all damage and critical strike chance, which we don't care about. We automatically crit anyways. Uh, set bonus, rogue tarragon, blood flare, and god slayer armor effects. All projectiles spawn healing auric orbs on enemy hits. Um, rogue stealth builds while not attacking up to 130. Ooh, so do we still have our, our teleport? We do. We've got multiple teleports. Oh, that's real nice. Um, I can dig it. Okay, so now we've got our cool weapon which does cool things <laughs> with our cool armor, which looks cool with our cool wings that also look cool with our dragon scales that make cool stuff. Oh, that feels good. We did it. We got all of our upgrades. The thing that I'm missing is the core of the blood God, not Glod. <laughs> I'm done. I'm, I'm just done. All right, let's see. Core, core of the blood God. Uh, I got to put the totem in there. Cosmolite bars, which I got, and the bloody worm scarf, which I believe I can buy from one of these vendors. And then I can make this, which is 8% increased damage and damage reduction, boosts your max HP by 10%, healing potions are 15% more effective, halves enemy contact damage, and when you take contact damage, this effect has a 20 second cooldown. Whew, that was a lot to say, wasn't it? Uh, what, did, what was it that I need? The bloody scarf, bloody worm scarf, which I think comes from her. Am I wrong? Do, 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 bloody worm tooth, which I can use to make the bloody worm scarf because I have the worm scarf and the souls of night. So let's pop that in there. Bloody worm scarf, then blood god, 
What am I missing? <laughs> Ascend to spirit essence. Okay, okay. That, <laughs> it's it's a joke at this point, but I literally have to go back to herd, buy phantoplasm. Do, do, do. Modded. I got so much money. Let's just get a bunch so I don't ever, never have to do that again. I think I've said that every single time I've done it. We're going to dump this in here. Uh... Spirit essence. Okay, we need four. Now, uh, blood god. Yeah, core of the blood god. Okay. Ooh, it's silent too. <laughs> Heck yeah. So now we have uh, all of my upgrades. Uh, everything that I'm going to use for these next two bosses at the moment. I'm, I'm so excited. Next, we shall probably try Supreme Calamitous. See how that goes realized that I'm in over my head once again because that boss fight is insane. It's going to take me a long time to do and may end up being a boss fight that I just do off screen while recording it and then just commentate it afterwards. I don't know. We'll see how I do that. And then uh, Exomex. Well, we got to try that as well, but we got to do the high tech computer, which we'll do in the next episode. And I'm excited for it.